Hi everybody, it's Russ Sallow here with GPS to Go, and uh, welcome to today's simple and informative logging into the GeoTab Checkmate 5.7. This is going to be a really good tutorial for the brand new customer out there um, who has received one of our devices and is going to be plugging the device in for the first time and then getting into the website for the first time. This might be very good as well for the new employee out there uh, who is now looking at the GPS tracking and you can use this as an internal training video at your place of business. So let's uh, have a few looks here at some of the basics of what it is that we do. So you've been through the GPS to go website and you've probably seen my handsome face in there and you've seen one of our videos. There's a video seven installs in 70 seconds. And in there we go into the installations of cars, trucks, big rigs, just about everything. Remember that the product that we sell is being used by United Parcel Service and actually by the recording of this video by about 77,000 vehicles just as one example uh, Pepsi Cola has many thousands Orc and Pest Control and we do companies like Service Master we have many franchises of them the maids many franchises so where does this product go so the device you're gonna get whether it's a, a go 6 device one of our plug-and-play devices, any of these vehicles typically has a place that's called an onboard diagnostic port and that's under the dash area. Often we say look down near the parking brake and it plugs in and then we use our security seal looks very similar to this. And if you have larger trucks, the larger trucks whether it's a 5 ton or an 18 wheeler um, here's the inside of one of these larger trucks and this is the port but it is either a six or a nine pin port looks very similar to this and we have an adapter cable and here's my hand putting the adapter cable into that same port and the cable fits just like this onto the plug-and-play device all right so let's dive right in and have a look at putting these two worlds together. So you plug the device in, what do you do next? Well, the next thing that you can do is you would get a hold of us and we would help you and this video should help you. You're gonna log into the my.geotab website. And when you do this, we're gonna give you free one-on-one -on -one training. So you'll get a hold of Len Collins, who does our live one-on-one -on -one training. He'll help you set up rules, he'll help you set up everything that you need to make sure that our GPS bundle really produces results. So you're going to get a login credential that looks like this, the my.geotab.com and then forward slash your forward slash your name. So I'm going to use this GPS to go test account that we have. So if I click on that URL, it's going to take us here and then I can put in, for instance, I have a special login that I'm going to use for today, Russ1. And I'm going to put in our secret password here. And it's going to open up the GPS to go test account database. Now, in the database, we have a couple of other devices that we're doing some testing on. You may see them for a second or so. So what you've probably done by this point is you have the little Go device, you plugged it into the vehicle, you've heard beep, 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 you've seen some lights on it, that's important. And then what I would recommend you do is you come back in, log in just as you've seen here. And the next thing that you can do then, we would have already loaded your devices into your instance of Checkmate, and this is called Checkmate, the GPS platform. So what you can do, very simply, everybody wants to see a device on a map. So we click on the word map. The map is going to open up. We're going to see the United States and Canada. All right, and then for your device, I have, for instance, titled this one RE Test. 
I just click on it. The map is going to refresh. And I can see where the device is stopped. Here's our e-test. Now, let me show you again. If we just touch that box, it's going to tell us the address where we stopped. So we're here at 2002 up the street on Shirelle Drive. And it stopped at 0907 this morning in 33 seconds. Now, that is a square purple box. The box might be blue. It might be yellow. It varies the color on different uh, devices to make sure that they look different so they don't get cluttered up together. And the square represents a stop in an unmarked geofenced or zone area. So, for instance, here's the word zone. This is the home zone. And if I had stopped inside there, instead of this being a square, it would be a star. And I'm going to show that to you. So this is live where we are. So we parked that, uh, parked that vehicle in there. And I can see where the vehicle is live. Again, just touch that. Tells us the date and the time. 0907 was the last time that that vehicle moved. So this is where it is now. If I want to see what's been going on, I can click on the word trip history. So let's see what has been going on. Now remember with us, you can go back in your trip history for as long as you've been a client. There's no restrictions. So this vehicle was in the orange home geofence zone overnight, 13 hours, 23 minutes. So yesterday from 1856, which is 656, until 0820 in the morning. That's where it sat overnight. The next morning here, so 0820 and till 0826, I drove and we ended up in this recognized zone because it's got an underline on it here, Pleasant Park. So it stopped there for 35 minutes, 57 seconds, no idling time. 6 minutes, 28 seconds of driving, 2 kilometer trip. And if I touch this little uh, yellow alert button, it tells us that we entered the Pleasant Park zone. Okay, so zone, geofence, again, we use those two words interchangeably. If I want to see this 2 kilometer trip, I'll just click anywhere along this line. The map is going to open up, and it's going to render us that breadcrumb trail. So here we are this morning leaving from the home zone and you can see our route that we took. Now what I'll do is I'll just touch here very quickly and I can touch anywhere along the route and see the speed and see the time. So you can see here, watch inside where it says RE test and then it says at 43 kilometers an hour. If I just move that slowly, you'll see I'm slowing down to 42 and you'll see the time change second by second as I'm moving. Then we ended up over here in the Pleasant Park zone, and that number one is a star because I'm inside a recognized area. So you can use those recognized geofences if you want to know, are they stopping at a coffee and donut shop? Are they stopping at a hardware store? Are they going to their own residence for lunch? You can use the geofence to tell you about all kinds of different areas. So if you want to know if they've been in a specific client area that's important that you go to, you can use it that way. An amalgamated driving time, stop time, everything else again here. Idling time so far today, zero seconds. Amalgamated driving time, 11 minutes. Amalgamated distance, four kilometers. Well, let's go back one day. <clears throat> so we can look here, May the 8th, at the home zone at this time. Then to the Kilbourne Mall at this time, Pleasant Park. We have all the information. Here's a stop in an unspecified area without a civic address. Back to the school at Pleasant Park. Here is back to the home zone, an address here on Cunningham Avenue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand all of this for you so that you can see exactly what those different tables all represent. So I'll lay this out one in a nice straight across way here. So on May the 8th, we have 
the vehicle was in the home zone. Now this is the overnight, right? So home zone 2302 Ryder Street in Ottawa. So from 2043, 843 at night, right, on the 7th until the next morning at 814 on the 8th, an 11 hour, 31 minute stop. So the next morning, here we went to the Kilbourne Mall. So we see here 0822 till 0844 was how long it was there, and that's a 22 minute stop. We had 2 minutes, 52 seconds of idling time, 8 minutes, 10 seconds of driving time. It was a 2 kilometer trip. And again, we have an orange alert because we entered the Pleasant Park zone. And the Pleasant Park zone is right down here. It's telling us we went there. The Kilbourne Mall, if I want to see this trip here of 2 kilometers, I'll just click anywhere along that line and it's going to render us that breadcrumb trail. Now, moving along here, here's our number one, and this one represents number one. The number two is our previous search when we did it for the previous day. So you see here for 09, if I touch here, this is for 08. I can clear the map by touching the word map. Clear the map. And then if I want to just look at this trip only, I'll click on that one time and it will open up the breadcrumb trail. If I want to see the next place that I went and see what the breadcrumb trails look like when they're amalgamated, so that's when we circled back on the same day to Pleasant Park Road. Then we stop somewhere here. There is an address that doesn't have a civic address. Back to the Pleasant Park area. Back to the home zone. And you can start adding these all in and seeing what the breadcrumb trail looks like from a distance. Now all of this as well can now be printed off if I want with an Excel spreadsheet or with a PDF. So if I click on the word view, I'll click the word advanced and watch. Now the word PDF and our Excel icon will brighten up, giving us the ability to print this off. Isn't that fantastic? In the next video, we'll talk about things like rules, setting up beeping, setting up driver alerts, setting up other rules that will help you manage your fleet. So again, I'm Russ Sallow with gps to go and this has been logging into Geotab Checkmate 5.7, recorded in May of 2014.